is up, YouTube? It's with a franchise guy. Come on, you again with another episode of Madden 19 Franchise Mode featuring the Philadelphia Eagles upgrading Jalen Ramsey. Now he's a true 99 overall right now. All three stats, 99, getting into some scouting. I mean, it's not going to mean much. This is the final season. Not really sure why I'm including this right now, but all of the remaining episodes that do have scouting available will have scouting available. I mean,. Does it make the most sense? Not really, but hear me out. Wasn't really thinking about that when, uh, pretty much when I did this. I'm just kind of going through this and seeing what's best. I mean, I have a really big, huge idea for Madden 20 when that comes out. I'm going to delay Madden 20 coming out till there's some draft classes. I've been kind of going back and forth on what I want to do for Madden 20. And as of right now, it's also subject to change. But as of right now at 7-13-2019-135 uh, a.m., I'm going to wait for realistic draft classes with realistic players on it. Uh, Herbert, all those guys. Uh, Tua, uh, Leo Lewis, linebacker. I'm going to wait for those guys. I mean, but then again, on 7-20-2019 at 1.36 a.m., I might have a different idea where I just want to use the computer-generated players because I have this huge idea of what I want to do. Like, I'm going to go super in-depth with my Madden franchise. I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set myself a little short right here, but I want there to be at least 100 episodes of this series. Yeah, you heard me correctly. 100 episodes. And if you think that's a lot of episodes, that's a lot of episodes because my only series right now that have close to 100 episodes are my NHL series, series is, 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 however you want to say that correctly, where I upload it three times a week, and even then I've been uploading since the game came out, and I'm just scraping the surface of a hundred I think uh, franchise the Flyers franchise is at like 90 98 episodes um, I think be a pros at 92 like I think that the 92nd episodes uploaded yesterday for that and the 98th episode uploaded on Friday for franchise mode I mean that's that's a lot of <laughs> a lot of videos right there I mean yeah, they're super easy to make those ones. I really enjoy making them. And I have a super big idea for NHL 20 when that comes out. I'm just going to go super in-depth, super big on all of my uh, series for this next round of games that come out. The only game that's kind of going to stag uh, stagnate a little bit is probably MLB The Show. Just because I'm going to keep out once a week. Uh, for now, at least, because it's going to be a long-running series of a couple years, because you know, I can import franchise modes. That's kind of it. It's the main reason why. But besides that, I don't, I don't really know. But uh, you see Carson Wentz right here hitting up Alshon Jeffrey for one of the last times. You know? I mean, yeah, we're in week seven. We got, uh, yeah, think, oh, we got week seven. We got ten more weeks after this. And there's playoffs. Okay. Ten weeks and playoffs. But you gotta hear me out. You gotta see see the bigger picture. See what I see here. And that we only have like th three, four weeks? 13th right now. So Madden comes out the second. So. Yeah, it's like three weeks away. So you got three more weeks to watch Carson Wentz and Alshon Jeffrey hook up for touchdowns. Four weeks if I'm going to push it back a week. So I think uh, my career will come out the following week for the new game. While um, franchise mode is going to stick with Eagles for one more week and then come out. Just let some draft classes come in. I know Xbox doesn't have a really big draft class community for some reason. I don't really know why. But it's the same way with 2K. There's just no big draft class community for 2K. 
on the Xbox. All the guys who do the big draft classes with like the super accurate players and the super accurate faces. Those guys all go on PlayStation con uh, not console, uh, PlayStation NPC. Do I know why? Absolutely not. I guess, maybe, I don't know. Something to do with graphics, maybe the graphics they feel like are better for PlayStation, but... I know, like, one thing got me super into draft glasses. Starting back on my... One of my first series on YouTube was my Madden 18 series, which is deleted now, you can't watch it, it's gone. Removed it from existence, it was just that bad of a series. But... One of my main, I want to say, reasons for playing Madden was because of C4. If you guys haven't seen his content, just look him up. He's a huge diehard Eagles fan. Probably one of the biggest non-continental, I guess non-United States, centralized United States. I don't know the right word to say that either. He's from Canada, and he's a massive, massive Eagles fan. Loves, loves the Eagles, but I think one of my reasons why I always like draft classes is because of him, because, you know, his franchises would always have these great rookies, so they always have these great players that he would import into the game. He would create the draft classes himself. He's huge into college football, so that's my problem. I'm not big into college football, so I don't, I don't go into that stuff right there, but can't dwell on that stuff right there. We gotta look for the positives and everything, and I think the positives are that this this franchise had a great run. It really did. There was nothing better than playing this in the beginning. Like I love playing a franchise. It was really what cool, got me into YouTube was Madden. They used to just upload two days a week, Thursdays and Sundays. Madden franchise, Madden my career, those are my only uploads. You know, and then I had an NHL and I added, I had 2K for a little bit. I mean, I still have my my career series, which is still going on, but I had a Sixers franchise mode that kind of fell apart just because I just couldn't. I don't know. I just don't understand the game. Couldn't play it for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, we're just <laughs> doing our best right now. We're blowing out the Pittsburgh Steelers somehow, you know, 20, 21 to 10 right there, and we're going to get stopped behind the line of scrimmage right there. LaShawn McCoy gets rocked. But uh, Williams right there, not playing no games when it comes to this stuff. And, uh, yeah, look at that. Fourth and one, we're going to go for it. LaShawn McCoy gets his vengeance, runs over the safety, gets tripped up at the 10-yard line, the 13-yard line, though, really. 19 rushes, 73 yards of care uh, on the ground so far. So, I mean, he's he's having a good game. LaShawn McCoy, his old age, yeah, he's having a great game. Uh, just leading the way for Taylor Carlson to be the next premier back. Him and Austin Eckler. I mean, Austin Eckler kind of got sidelined because we do have so many running backs. Like, LaShawn McCoy got hurt. Eckler just never, I don't know, really got any playing time after McCoy came back because Taylor Carlson and Austin Eckler. But then just kind of came Marshawn Lynch and LaShawn McCoy. Couldn't tell you why, just how it played out. Not the funnest thing ever to happen, and uh, yeah. That's just how it is sometimes. But up 24 to 10 right now, got a little over 4 minutes left. 4.44 to be specific. Curse of the Fours. Jake Elliott gives us, what, a 14 point lead, so they need two touchdowns without having us kill the clock in the next five-ish to stay five minutes to be easy but we're eventually gonna hit continue at some point there we go continue 418 fourth down we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're on defense right now fourth and seven right here for Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers I mean they got Le'Veon still they've got Antonio still Antonio's gonna get that first down something that I don't know maybe we've Antonio Brown, Ben Asperger, and Le'Veon Bell weren't the three largest egos in the history of NFL. Maybe they'd come out to something, but problem is, no one likes each other. Sure, you had the greatest talent ever, but if you don't, I don't know, 
use that talent correctly and accordingly and well realize that you're not the center of the universe you're not gonna amount to anything at all your team will never do anything you'll never be anything that's why russell westbrook james harden and kevin durant don't work out together and that's why russell westbrook and james harden in houston aren't gonna work out i'm telling you now james harden and russell westbrook might not make the playoffs simple as that i think if they make the playoffs they're gonna come in as like a fifth sixth seed but they're not going to be as good as they were. No way. They're not going to be as good as they were with Chris Paul and James Harden. Russell Westbrook, James Harden are both isolation players. They don't run all offenses this correctly. I mean, Harden's a ball hog. Russell Westbrook's a step padding a ball hog. It's just, uh, it's just not going to work out. I'm sorry. It's not going to work out one bit with that team. Like, look at this team. Look at this Eagles team. You know, Carlson, you know... These guys aren't getting touches right now, but look, no one's complaining. Braxton Barrows was a huge pickup for us last year. Not getting many touches because Deshaun Jackson's with the team now for probably. And uh, yeah, like he's not complaining. You know, he's on this team. He's gonna win a ring. That's what he likes. Everyone likes rings. And if you win a ring, you win a ring, and you're not gonna complain about winning rings. But ton of defensive prospects right here. But if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed any episode, you should post it down below. Until next time, YouTube, peace out, rock on, stay classy, and uh, yeah, Le'Veon Bell, overrated.